got the piece of property on Talfon Road. What do you think you do with that? Well, we we um, we did some research um, and uh, dug through some old documents. Uh, the board clearly owns it, and the board clearly has uh, the right to do with it what they choose. Um, and board being the school board. School board. And the school board voted back um, the early, what, September maybe? Um, they decided to just keep the land under the jurisdiction of the school board. Uh, recently we had um, Mrs. Wolseley came and uh, wanted the um, land to be put into the Conservation Commission. Um, the board took it under advisement. And so we are looking at um, that um, suggestion by Mrs. Wolseley, uh, along with uh, Jay Diener, who talked to us a little bit about uh, the property uh, having a uh, right of way. Um, conservation easement. Conservation easement, was, yep. which would um, make sure that the uh, land stayed as is. So that decision rests in the hands of our school board. What is the value of that land if you were to sell it? Well, we, we know there's about 30 acres. Um, 15 of those acres are buildable. We know that because the board, back in 2011, um, looked at that property as a potential site for the middle school, should they walk away from the Hampton Academy site. Um, and uh, so we did, uh, we know that there's 15 acres of buildable property there that we could have put the building on. The value is whatever the value of an acre of land is in, in Hampton, and I don't know that. I don't know that. Well, now, since Mary Louise Wolseley put in a two cents to the school board, yeah. and it's contrary to my five cents, should I go to the school board and offer my five cents, or should I make it right now? Whichever makes you feel more comfortable. I think everyone would be happier if I said it right now. Okay. Last year and the prior year, when we attempted to get the bond for this renovation project, I believe promises were made that steps would be taken to find other revenue sources to offset the cost as much as we could, which included the school board going after, I believe it was Hampton Falls, trying yep. to get them to lease into it, as one of those other revenue sources. <laughs> This asset called 15 acres of usable land, total of 30 acres, is another resource for revenue. I believe that the promises made that we would find all other revenue sources still should apply. And you should, if you have no other use for it, you should in fact put it in private hands and get market value for it and use it to reduce the cost of the remodeling project, as was promised to the voters. Now, I hope that was easier than me going to the school board to say. We'll take that under advisement. I appreciate that, Jenny. Okay. Thank you. Is that, is that a subtle denial? <laughs> no, it is not, Bob. It is not. We'll bring that back to the board. And just so you know, the board did make um, every effort uh, to talk with the uh, neighboring school district relative to the students uh, joining the Hampton Academy family. Yes, I observed that. I and, believe that is true. And I think the school board should make every effort with other uh, idle assets and make them perform for the taxpayers, as, especially since it was basically promised. You would find all other alternative revenues to offset the cost of this remodeling project. That was part of the sales pitch. Mm -hmm. Let's let's be true to the, the vote. Well, and I think that over the past seven years, we have proven as a school board let's and our leadership. Let's continue that proof. Yes, let's continue that. that they will do that. Mm -hmm. so let's I'm continue sure. with that. I'm sure we'll take it under advisement. I'm sure it will be a discussion future board meetings. I'll be happy to come to explain it any further if the school board so desires. Okay.